Hello, and welcome to day four of my race to the moon. Uh, I'm starting the other way around today. This is Michael's progress. He's been making some sleek rockets, and uh, he has made it to the moon and landed there quite nicely. Um, he's even been driving a little rover around. But I know that Michael's off out impressing American ladies with his fine English accent today, so I've got a chance to catch up. Uh, um, I did try switching. I realised I've been using huge rocket parts and perhaps I'd actually be trying something smaller. And um, I tried that, but I got a bit carried away. Um, I was sort of adding solid fuel booster rockets to get me away. And oh dear. Eventually it was so heavy it wasn't going up. And then, isn't that pretty? All those engines flying away. Absolutely kills my frame rate. Um, but uh, yeah. I think when I realised there that I just jettisoned 12 solid fuel boosters, I'd maybe gone a bit crazy. Fun ship this though, did like it, and um, it does make it to the moon. Uh, unfortunately I went at night, a bit like the Irish space programme and the sun joke if you remember that, and it went wrong. So I went for a pared down approach using everything I'd learned so far, I'm using uh, fuel cross feeds and detachable uh, sort of boostery rockets but I'm going for the thinner approach. Now this is just uh, the first test run. Um, I'm assuming that I'm going to have to put an extra stage in the middle of this. I'm curious to see how well it'll fly. Do, am I going to need six or eight boosters? You know, let's see how it goes. However, um, it took off quite well. And here it is, flying nicely. The fuel cross feeds are working well. I, I realised that these are essential with smaller rockets because weight is much more of a factor. But yeah, my god, I made it up pretty much into orbit without ditching all the boosters. So this was looking good actually. And yeah, let's see if I can uh, widen out the orbit. Perhaps even make it circular. That'd be nice. And yeah. A, a nice circular orbit coming up at about 1520 uh, up there. Now Michael was telling me um, wait for the moon to come up over the horizon and uh, that's probably about the most efficient time to head towards it. So I thought I'd give this a bash. Isn't that nice? Oof. And yeah I've been uh, pointing it at the moon so I'm able to track that. There it is above the horizon and I thought you know, let's just try this rocket out and just head straight for the moon. No calculations, no manoeuvres. Just turn the taps on and see where it takes me. So yeah, our apoapsis extends outwards and uh, good as me. It's actually going to make it. We've got this nice eccentric little kink of an orbit which is just about going to cut all my power. So yeah, I realised actually quick dab of the brakes and I'm in friggin orbit around the moon and amazingly I still haven't even emptied this stage I've, I've got another stage to go so dab dab fairly circular orbit pull in the clutch tap on the brakes and uh, let's see if we can uh, hit the surface Yeah, down we go. Following the green thing. I really don't know what these things are called. I'm basically following the green thing. I figure that's the exact opposite of where my rocket is going. So if I just keep uh, dabbing away at the power on that, that should kill off most of my horizontal speed. And eventually that should be pointing straight up. Yeah, finally ran out of fuel for that bit. Actually, it's, it's really weird trying to control this uh, little lander stage now because I've been so used to the weight of something big that I tend to overcook all the manoeuvres here. Bouncing around a bit. Yep, yeah, we're coming in quite well. Speed's controllable, we're under 200. Drop the landing gear. 
Here we go, here we go. Most of our horizontal speed's gone. I think I've killed off enough vertical speed to make this possible. Yeah, this is doable. We're, this is gonna happen. Down we go. Okay, that didn't go so well. Down, down, down. And with the world's shonkiest landing, we're only on the friggin' moon without even trying. Score. Right, check that out. We're even lined up with Kerbin. At this point, I realised that the one thing I had forgotten was a ladder. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to use the jetpack to actually get off the ship. Phew. Well, that would have been hilarious if he died there. Can I get you home, little Kerbal? <laughs> 